Hi, welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to go through with you about the structure of a VHDL code. Okay, so in this lecture, I will go through uh, the structure of a VHDL code and I'm going to do it like briefly, okay? You need to understand that this is uh, like a basic structure and through this course, uh, we will, I will show you, you know, more structures and how you can uh, make them uh, more wider. Okay, so uh, this is like a basic structure. Okay, and I think it's a, a good start. Okay, for beginners. Um, okay, so let's just start. Now, first of all, uh, I'm using a Notepad++ to write my VHDL code. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to write uh, actually a VHDL code, okay, if you want to write your uh, program, okay, I'm not calling it program because it's not a program, it's actually hardware. And um, if I'm writing an hardware, okay, uh, I want to save it. And how you save a VHDL file, um, okay, so uh, the end of the file need to be uh, okay, file file name dot vhd. Okay, so this is how you save your uh, text file. Okay, so instead of uh, a file name dot text txt, okay, it will be dot vhd. Okay, and uh, for very log files, you will save it dot uh, v. Okay, so dot v is for very log. Uh, uh, we will write dot vhd. Okay, and <coughs> let's start with the structure. Okay. Now, how do you write a comment? Okay, if you know other languages like uh, C or uh, maybe Arduino, okay, you will write a comment like this and you will, uh, sorry, and if you want to write something and then comment, com, you know, make more uh, uh, um, uh, dashes and enters and then you want to uh, close the, uh, the comment. So it will be like this, okay, and Okay, so for commenting, uh, you know, some code uh, in VHDL, you will have to do a two a double hyphen, okay? And then you write your comments or, you know, whatever uh, version or whatever you want to write here, okay? And uh, now, uh, if you are going to use a Notepad++, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, use, if you want to write a language, uh, it will be uh, much uh, easier um, if you're uh, going, you can define the language or you can just save the file. Okay, so if you want to write your VHDL code, so first of all, write my code uh, dot VHD. Now, uh, let's just save it somewhere. And now the, actually uh, the application uh, will understand that you're writing VHDL code. And for example, if you're going to write something, uh, some saved words, like component, configuration, constant, case, it will recognize it, okay? You can do the same thing for uh, C, C++, you know, whatever you want to write here, or uh, even Verilog, okay? Uh, now, if I want to comment uh, more than uh, uh, one, okay, I can just, uh, I'm using Shift and Alt, okay? And then Control and Q, okay? Control and Q, if you write in, if you press in a, a control, uh, control and shift Q, it will do uh, as many as you want. Control Q will take it back. Okay, you can play with it and see how it goes. Okay, so for uh, comments, uh, you can write here, for example, version zero uh, one. I don't know. Uh, code by offer. Okay, or whatever. Now, next thing uh, we will uh, do is the uh, okay, the library and use library plus use clauses. Okay, so first of all, we want to uh, uh, put our own uh, the library okay that contains um, everything that we need for the VHDL code. Okay, so. Uh, many of the vhdl codes many of the things inside the vhdl codes needs its own libraries like in c and like in other languages okay so uh, the uh, language will recognize uh, anything you do okay so if you're uh, for example uh, adding two numbers okay if you're uh, i don't know 
setting something up you, you you need the libraries okay to recognize everything the types okay the variables you need the libraries okay and you will understand it later on we will talk about the libraries and everything okay and the next thing i want to do is to use the libraries okay so i'm going to write it like this use okay i triple e dot and I have an example here because I never uh, really, uh, uh, you know, remember. And you can, this is the, uh, okay, this is the uh, uh, the must uh, uses that you need to use, okay. Uh, uh, this, this is, uh, for example, this is uh, actually the must and this is an addition. So another uh, thing you can use is uh, the use IEEE uh, numeric uh std dot okay so this will give you all uh, uh the options um okay using uh, numbers and uh, uh you know using um, vectors and everything i will explain you this later on okay for now you just need to know that you have many libraries okay you don't need to uh you know uh remember them all you can go to the internet uh we're in 2021 uh, you just need to know that it's uh, you need to know that you need uh, this library first of all and then you can use uh, all of uh, all of this uh, this is uh, a must okay y you must uh, put it okay in order to use uh, okay in order to write your VHDL code now next thing I want to talk about um, will be one of the uh, most uh, important thing and it will be the entity okay so what is an entity actually uh, uh, we will talk about this uh, later on but for now you need to uh, uh, you need to understand something and I will explain this uh, in a second okay okay so what an entity is um, okay for example uh, uh, let's say that you have your FPGA okay this is your FPGA and you have inputs and you have outputs from the FPGA many of them many of them okay you can also have a, an input output and the entity actually holds uh, okay all of these uh, 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 inputs okay actually it holds all of these inputs from and to the FPGA and also if you have uh, inside uh, components we will talk about this later on Okay, so inside your FPGA, uh, you can put like blocks, okay, like a block that do something, it can do uh, mathematical uh, things, it can do, uh, you know, um, many other things, okay, um, it can be memory, it can save data, it can do many things, we'll talk about this later on, and it has also inputs and outputs uh, to and from this uh, 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 box, uh, uh, it's a black box for now we don't know what it's doing it's called component we'll talk about this later on and also an entity holds all of these inputs and outputs okay so an entity is like um, let's say the gate for the world the outside world of a component or an FPGA okay so this is briefly thing uh, uh, that I'm uh, saying so this is just briefly how we write in it it's going to be entity um, for example, you can call it, uh, uh, let's call it uh, my project, okay? I know, it's just a name I made up. It's a name, you can write whatever you want. And <coughs> right here you will have uh, ports, okay? So I told you you have ports. You can write A, okay? It will be an input, okay? And um, let's... It will be, uh, I will explain you everything later on. Okay. And it's going to be one bit. STD logic is one bit. I will explain you everything later on. Okay. And let's do another one. Let's call it B. It will be an output. Out. Sorry. On the last one, you don't write uh, 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 the semicolon. Okay. And this is how you write it. And you can write here and entity okay you can also write and my 
project. Okay, uh, you can write it in both way. I love to write it like this. Sometimes you will see me writing and entity, but it's the same. It's okay. Now the next thing will be uh, the architecture. Architecture. Okay, and let's just write it. So this is how you write your architecture. Okay, you're going to write here architecture. Uh, I love to call it. Now you have the name for the architecture. I love to call it in the same name that we wrote here on the entity. Now I will explain you later on that you can have many architecture for one entity. Okay, but most of the time you will see me only using one architecture, uh, and I will explain you everything later on. Okay, and this architecture, okay, needs needs to be uh, uh, you know um, uh, bind to uh, some entity, and this is the entity. Okay, this is the entity name, and this is the architecture name, and it's going to be is. Right here you will have and you can write and architecture or and the name of the architecture. In the middle you will have the uh, begin, and I will explain you in a second why do we have the this begin. Okay, and let's just talk about the architecture. So the architecture actually holds. Uh, you remember we just said that we have here uh, components blocks or we have the FPGA, so it holds, uh, okay, um, the action of the block, okay, whatever the block is doing here inside, okay, uh, uh, determined, determined, determined by uh, uh, this uh, architecture, okay, uh, and whatever we wrote here. So this is actually your uh, code, okay. Here are going to be your code, your all code. Um, and right here we will uh, uh, talk uh, more about uh, 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 the inner uh, things. Okay, so between the architecture and the begin, you will always have your uh, uh, components and uh, uh, signals. Now components. Um, so for example, this is like here your uh, uh, main, my project, your FPJ, and inside you have many components. How do you call them? Okay, how do you call your components? So this is uh, how you call them, right here in the architecture, you call them, okay? And, <coughs> and right here inside the begin, you can uh, connect them to your uh, uh, entity. And I will show you everything later on. You just need to understand. Now signals, what does it mean? Signals are wires, okay? There are going to be wires between here to here to here, whatever, you know, whatever wire it's going to be. These are going to be wires, and I will show you everything later on how we are going to write it. Uh, for example, okay, this is for example. Uh, signal, let's call it signal, uh, 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 um, I don't know. vector okay or maybe counter you know what let's call it counter call it counter and it's going to be a, a vector okay because it's a counter we want it to be a large counter and this is how you write in it for example this for example a counter of eight eight bits okay and <clears throat> right here inside the begin you will have a uh, Okay, your uh, uh, process and everything, okay? And what is the process? We'll talk about this later on. You just need to know that you have your processes, process, okay, inside. And you have sequential uh, uh, statements and process uh, uh, statements. And you have er everything you need inside the begin. So for example, okay, let's just take uh, another signal. Let's call it C. It will be an STD logic, and I will, I want to uh, C to B. Okay, A and uh, B. Okay, so for example, this is uh, this is what my uh, project right now doing. It's just doing an end between A and B. Okay, um, just for you to understand something, uh, this is not a process. Okay, we can write down a process uh, uh, right here. Okay, and uh, this is just, uh, you know, uh, something that we uh, wrote here. Okay, it's not a process. This is uh, 
something that happens uh, uh, right away okay when uh, uh, it, this is something that actually happens all the time okay and um, I will show you later on about the processes okay now for writing a flip-flop for example you will have to use a process I will explain you everything later on I don't want to get uh, deeply into this uh, uh, because you will get confused okay uh, and you will understand everything about the structures later on we'll do uh, uh, many examples for now you need to understand that this is a basic basic uh, okay structure of a code and actually I will tell you that I'm using this basic structure 99% of the time okay and you will see me writing components and processes and everything I will explain everything later on okay so I will see you on the next lecture and this is it for now okay and thank you